The World Health Organization lists 69 countries that have reported what is officially called extensively drug-resistant tuberculosis, XDR-TB for short. It's a form of the mycobacterium that, like the one reported in India, isn't killed by the first and second line anti-TB injectable drugs. The WHO says at least 25,000 cases of XDR-TB are reported worldwide every year. Dr. Margaret Chan, WHO's Director General, views the emergence of drug-resistant tuberculosis with alarm. Call it what you may, a time bomb or a powder cake. Any way you look at it, this is a potentially explosive situation. Officials say drug-resistant TB has been a growing problem in countries such as India and China because patients are frequently misdiagnosed and often receive inappropriate or inadequate treatment with antibiotics. Misuse of these drugs increases the danger that the target pathogen will gradually develop resistance to them. Dr. Neeraj Mistri, a public health physician, says surveys show that very few Indian doctors are actually treating TB patients with the right drugs for the right length of time. The emergence of totally resistant uh, tuberculosis is a result of failed public health intervention strategies. When we deliver ineffective uh, treatment regimens and when we don't have full adherence and compliance to treatment, it enables the emergence of resistance within the individual. Experts say that with the current arsenal of drugs failing to hold the line against TB, the need for new drugs and compounds has become more urgent. Preventing TB through vaccination is one promising strategy. The ideal would be to develop a vaccine that works in all age groups, everyone from newborns through the elderly. Dr. Anne Ginsberg and her colleagues at Ares Global TB Vaccine Foundation are running clinical trials on two TB vaccines they hope will provide long-lasting immunity to TB and stop transmission of the disease. If all goes as planned, she says the vaccine will be ready by 2020. So the clinical development uh, program for a TB vaccine is a very long process. And it's long because, first of all, because of the nature of the disease itself. People get infected with TB and often don't get sick for years. So when you do a vaccine trial, you have to vaccinate people and then watch them for years. While the world waits for that TB vaccine, the WHO says a new line of TB drugs fortified with a new class of potent antimycobacterial agents could be available by the end of this year or early next. Vidushi Sinha, VOA News, Washington.